One of the best ways of being effective in your learning is to use mental tools and tricks to inspire and motivate yourself. First, when it comes to learning in general, you should realize that it's perfectly normal to start with a few negative feelings about beginning a learning session, even when it's a subject you ordinarily like. It's how you handle those feelings that matters. Researchers have found that non-procrastinators put their negative thinking aside, saying things to themselves like, quit wasting time and just get on with it. Once you get going, you'll feel better about it. If you find yourself avoiding certain tasks because they make you feel uncomfortable, you should know there's another helpful way to reframe things. And that's to learn to focus on process, not product. Process means the flow of time and the habits and actions associated with that flow of time. As in, I'm going to spend 20 minutes working. Product is an outcome. For example, a homework assignment that you need to finish. To prevent procrastination, you want to avoid concentrating on product. Instead, your attention should be on building processes. Processes relate to simple habits, habits that coincidentally allow you to do the unpleasant tasks that need to be done. For example, let's say you don't like doing homework in a particular class, so you put off working on the homework. It's only five questions, you think. How hard could that be? Deep down, you realize that answering those five questions could be a very lengthy job. It's easier to live in a fantasy world where the five questions or the 10-page report or whatever can be done at the last minute. Your challenge here is to avoid focusing on the product, the answers to the questions. The product is what triggers the pain that causes you to procrastinate. Instead, you need to focus on the process or processes, the small chunks of time you need over days or even weeks to answer the questions or prepare for tests. Who cares whether you finish the homework or grasp the key concepts in any one session? The whole point instead is that you calmly put forth your best effort for a short period, the process. Notice how in this picture, Physicist and surfer Garrett Lisi is focused on the moment, not on the accomplishment of having surfed that wave. For you, one of the easiest ways to focus on process is to focus on doing a Pomodoro, a 25-minute timed work session, not on completing a task. The essential idea here is that the zombie habitual part of your brain likes processes because it can march mindlessly along. It's far easier to enlist a friendly zombie habit to help with a process than to help with a product. By focusing on process rather than product, you allow yourself to back away from judging yourself. Am I getting closer to finishing? And instead, you allow yourself to relax into the flow of the work. The key is, when a distraction arises, which it inevitably will, you want to train yourself to just let it flow by. Of course, setting yourself up so that distractions are minimal is also a very good idea. Many students find that either a quiet space or noise-canceling headphones, if you can afford them, can be helpful when they're really trying to concentrate. I'm Barbara Oakley. Thanks for learning about learning.